He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them, gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to, the, to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. 
The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading today, we hear those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 people were added that day. Easter and the Easter season are especially marked by the sacrament of baptism, the baptism of new Christians into the church at the Easter vigil is a significant and beautiful part of our Easter celebrations. St. John's has been blessed to have had many catechumens, and especially this year there were a large number of baptisms. Our fellow priests at St. Michael's Abbey over the years have been loaned, or you might even say rented catechumens, those to be baptized from St. John's for a small fee in order that they might have at least one baptism there at the Abbey. As there were a large number of baptisms at the vigil this year, the sometimes the visible details, the preparation, and the execution of such a large event can sometimes dis- distract us from the invisible spiritual realities taking place. For that Easter Vigil Mass and to prepare for it, on Tuesday of the Holy Week, we had a two-hour uh, practice where we had all of the catechumens and their godparents come to the church for a long practice. And it's there that they are instructed that when they come to the Easter Vigil on Saturday evening, that they should wear something rather simple because we provide them with baptismal garments. In order to be baptized, they receive a brown 
garments for the baptism, and then afterwards they are clothed in the white garment of the baptized. And, but inevitably, they, when they come, use, they often come in very ornate dresses and in brand new suits. And they're told not to wear a shoe or not to wear, they're told to wear sandals or something that you can get wet. And most of them have dress shoes on. And by the time they are trying to clothe them in their baptismal garments, they're trying to pull those garments over their ornate dresses and the coats of their suit jackets. And then I know when I was baptizing two of our teenage boys in our catechism program, they did bring sandals, but they wore socks with their sandals. And so when they stepped into the baptismal font, they left with soaked socks. Then during the celebration of the vigil, we process in and the church is dark, except for the Easter candle, the Paschal candle that is lit, and then gradually the candles of the faithful are lit along with it. But there's very little light. And of course, eventually we have people arriving late, and we know one, during one of the godparents that came in the side door and it's pitch dark. And he was looking for his little godson. And you could hear as Father Andrew was here beautifully singing the exultet. You could hear someone sneaking into the church saying, Tony, 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 where are you, Tony? Eventually, thanks be to God, he found his godson before his baptism. And then there is the very unique experience, and thanks be to God, I had this, I've had this experience several times and even this vigil of performing the baptism. And it's a unique experience because there are rare events where you are able to douse, pour cold water on the top of a fully clothed person and not have to endure any retaliation or retribution and sometimes they'll even thank you for it. So it's a very unique experience at the vigil. But after the dust has settled and the baptismal water has been dried off, the spiritual reality of the event is beautiful and mysterious. It is a moment that God has been waiting for for all eternity. You might say, it's a moment for our Lord that is more significant, more important than the creation of the entire universe, the entire material world or universe. It is at this time that in that baptism that our Lord, through that water, those waters, cleanses the person of their original sin and any personal sins that they have committed. And then, and all punishment due to those sins is simply washed away by those few simple words and the pouring of that water. Our Lord adopts them in that moment as His sons and daughters. Their souls are infused with the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. They receive the theological virtues. They're given that ability to believe in God to hope in Him, and to love Him. They're given the power to act through the promptings of the Holy Spirit, whom they receive in that moment. And they're given the moral virtues, an increase in the moral virtues, to help them persevere and grow in holiness and goodness. This is the great gift of the sacrament of baptism that they received on the Easter Vigil and that we all received at the moment of our baptism. And we're called throughout this Easter season, especially to remember this great and mysterious and beautiful gift where our Lord cleansed us of our sins and adopted us as his own so that we are and can truly call ourselves the sons and daughters of God.
Please stand. As we seek to follow Christ to fullness of life, we turn to him with our prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, may the Spirit continue to help them grow in faithfulness and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of governments and nations, may God look graciously upon them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who weep, may Jesus bring them consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For our community, may Easter joy and hope bring us ever closer to the Father who loves us. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially for J. Kelly, for whom this Mass is being offered, may the Lord of perfect love Welcome them into his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we know that you hear our prayers. We ask that you answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. (coughs) He who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism. So prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle it's against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.